Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Module 25. Today's tutorial is on plant hormones. I am Ritrisha from GK today and I will be taking you through this. Plant hormones are signal molecules produced within the plant and occur in extremely low concentrations. Hormones regulate cellular processes in targeted cells locally and when move to other locations in those locations in the plant. Hormones also determine the formation of flowers, stems, leaves, the shedding of leaves and the development and ripening of fruits. Plants, unlike animals, lack glands that produce and secrete hormones. Instead, each cell is capable of producing hormones. They affect the tissues grow up, that grow upward and which go downward. Leaf formation and stem growth, fruit development and ripening, plant longevity and even plant death. Hormones are vital to plant growth and lacking them, plants would be mostly a mass of undifferentiated cells. There are various types of plant hormones which we are going to take a look at now. Auxins. Auxin is a group of plant hormones that produces a number of effects including plant growth, phototropic response through the stimulation of cell elongation which is phototropism that is the plant grows towards the light. Stimulation of secondary growth, apical dominance and the development of leaf, leaf traces and fruit. An important plant auxin is endothriastic acid or IAA and uh, there also exist synthetic auxins such as 2,4-D and 2,4-5-D which are also com commonly called weed killers. This, uh, this hormone is basically weak organic acids which actively participate in the cell division and the cell elongates consequently, thus plant growth occurs. If some auxin hormones uh, be applied on the flower of the plants, then without fertilization and without seeds being formed, the ovary wall becomes tuberous and forms the fruit. This is known as artificial parthenocot. Now, what is Agent Orange? So we just talked about 2,4-D and 2,4-5-D. What are these? 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid is a synthetic auxin frequently used as a weed killer of broad-leaved weeds. When two herbicides 2,4-5-D and 2,4-D are mixed in equal parts, it is called Agent Orange. This was used by the US in Vietnam War. Next we come to gibberellins. Now gibberellins or GS include a large range of chemicals that are produced naturally within plants and by fungi. They were first discovered when Japanese researchers uh, including Eiichi Kurosawa noticed a chemical produced by the fungus called gibberella fujikoroi that produced abnormal growth in rice plants. Now, gibberellins are important in seed germination. They affect enzyme production that mobilize food production and uh, which are used for growth of new cells. This is done by modulating chromosomal transcription. In grains such as rice, wheat, corn, etc., uh, the seeds of these grains, a layer of cells are called the aileron layer, wraps around the endosperm tissues. Now, absorption of water by the seed causes production of this particular enzyme. It is transported to the aileron layer, which responds by producing enzyme that breaks down stored food reserves within the endosperm, which are utilized by the growing seedlings. GS produce a bolting of rosette forming plants, increasing internodal length. Uh, they promote flowering cellular division and in seed growth after germination. Gibrelins also reverse the inhibition of shoot growth and dormancy induced by ABA. Cytokinins. Cytokinins or CKs are a group of chemicals that influence cell division and shoot formation. They were called kinins in the past when the first cytokinins were isolated from yeast cells. They also help in uh, help delay senescence or the aging of tissues, are responsible for mediating auxin transport throughout the plant and affect internodal length and leaf growth. They have a highly synergistic effect in concert with auxins, that is they work together with auxins. And the ratios of these two groups of plant hormones affect most major growth periods during a plant's lifetime. Now, cytokinins counter the apical dominance induced by auxins 
they in conjunction with italy promote abscission of leaves flower pots and fruits the correlation the correlation of auxins and cytokines in the plants is constant uh, so basically they together form a constant okay moving on to ethylene ethylene is a gas that forms through the yang cycle from the breakdown of methionine which is in all cells ethylene has very limited solubility in water and does not accumulate within the cell but diffuses out of the cell and escapes out of the plant in effectiveness as a plant hormone is dependent on its rate of production versus its rate of escaping into the atmosphere ethylene is produced at a faster rate in rapidly growing and dividing cells especially in darkness new growth and newly germinated seedlings produce more ethylene than can escape the plant which leads to elevated amount of ethylene inhibiting leaf expansion as the new shoot is exposed to light reactions by phytochrome in the plant cell produces a signal for ethylene production to decrease allowing leaf expansion ethylene affects cell growth and cell shape when a growing shoot hits an obstacle while underground ethylene production greatly increases preventing cell elongation and causing the cell uh, stem to swell the resulting thicker stem can exert more pressure and uh, it, so it can exert more pressure against the object that is blocking its path if the shoot does not reach the surface and the ethylene st uh, stimulus becomes prolonged it affects the stem's natural geotropic response which is to grow upright allowing it to grow around the object now moving on to abscisic acid abscisic acid or aba hormone activates the vascular cambium during mitosis cell division and its presence slows down the stem growth this hormone can be used in preventing the sprouting activities in seeds and buds in dry stems it provokes the pores to close and consequently a downfall in the rate of evaporation takes place the role of abscisic acid in abscission of leaves is doubtful and not proved yet That's all for this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel gk today until the next tutorial goodbye